YouTube, man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another vid. And today, man, we have some fire topics to talk about. Now, of course, Noah Farrakhan just played his second game, was killing out there. BJ Boston was going crazy on the court. And man, the Jalen Green and Cade Cunningham matchup just went insane. And I got to break it down and call out some of my subscribers real quick. So let's get right into it. If you do like these type of updates, man, like the video. Now, you guys know I've talked about Jalen Green and Cade Cunningham him for a minute on this channel and i've made plenty of past videos actually saying that jalen green was actually throwing shots at Cade cuttingham now a lot of people would always call me out basically saying that i'm instigating starting things but look what happened in this most recent game now they actually finally got to match up and Cade cuttingham went for 20 points four rebounds three assists where jalen green went for 23 five rebounds and two assists now that boy jalen is tough but both these guys are super good but i want to show you guys this one highlight man now people said they didn't have any type of beef oh it was nothing going on but Jalen Green went up for that dunk and you guys know what he said when he was looking at Cade Cunningham you can read what he's saying man and he looks like he has problems he's not playing around at all and this is what I like to see on the basketball court but you guys let me know in the comments down below do they have beef or not you guys have know I've been stating it for a minute now Jalen wants that number one spot he wanted that and now he has a chip on his shoulder to prove himself so you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below but i thought that was super interesting now of course you guys know i gotta talk about noah farrakhan you guys seem to like the last update about him and this dude has also been going crazy his first game he had 27 points which was huge because you guys know his previous other school where he was playing at definitely wasn't getting the type of playing time and things really just were not working out at that school he almost seemed like he lost confidence in his game and it was almost like there was a completely different player on the basketball court court but now that we actually see him coming back he just had his official debut technically his official debut where this dude had 18 points in the second half and was playing very well against Indiana now I think what makes him so special is one he finally got that confidence back Personally, I believe playing at a program that actually wants to see you win and really enjoys and likes your original game, how you play, and only wants you to pretty much focus on that, play your game, and make improvements to try to win the team, win the game for the basketball squad. I think that makes sense in this point. It seems like he's doing much better at this school. You guys know he played against the top competition in high school, was arguably one of the best shooting guards in the country in high school, if not the best at one point in time, and he he played at IMG as well, played all over all these top teams, played in New Jersey, but then all of a sudden went to college and wasn't hooping. So I was glad that we finally see that he's back to his normal self because man, his jump shot is looking good and he's looking very aggressive on the court. Man, the way he just dribbles the ball and looks so smooth, I think he's definitely improved a lot. But again, I think the biggest thing here is confidence. And we could all see the difference of when he got that confidence and just how his overall game is. I think he's holding the ball a lot longer in his hand. And of course, playing time definitely helps in this case because you know, if you're not getting on the court, you're probably not really scoring any points or going crazy anyway. So I definitely got to give him the benefit of the doubt because the way he's attacking as well, I think overall he's improved a ton and it finally looks like this dude is back. Now I'm curious if people think he's actually going to make the NBA. Some people are saying he's way too short standing at around you know in my opinion I think this dude is maybe 6'1 at most a 6'2 as I think even reaching but he definitely seems like he's improved man and this is really his redemption story finally him coming back being able to score and go crazy on the court but you guys let me know what you think about his return this is his technically official debut let me know how you think he played but I think he is doing his thing for sure now on the other hand BJ Boston has also been playing very well now you guys know this dude didn't have the best college career of course playing at Kentucky a lot of people thought he was going to be shaky moving forward but I think he is starting to finally find his rhythm and of course I cover him on this channel once in a while but I think he's definitely improved a ton to where he's looking like a solid NBA prospect or at least a prospect that needs to be looked at in the future for sure now he actually scored 25.6 rebounds and two steals and they won the game I think people need to pay attention because you guys know in high school at Sierra Canyon he was absolutely killing out there he was doing his thing people thought for sure he was going to be a one and done didn't play that well in college and when that happens man people are going to be very suspect about how you're going to be in the NBA but of 
course, he is actually playing for the Clippers G League team. And man, he looks like he's back to himself as well. Now, they were actually playing Team Ignite. You guys know a lot of players on there, but it looks like he was playing pretty well. His jump shot, which is one thing we needed him to improve on and get comfortable shooting. And it looks like he was putting up the ball pretty well. That three point shot was really what he was known for in high school, playing with Sharif Cooper. And you guys know when you're playing with such a good guard, it's easy to put up points like that. But of course, it looks like he's a lot smoother as well. I think, of course, him getting in the gym, putting in a ton of work definitely helps his case because when you're putting in so many shots, getting up, it's only going to help you get more confidence. And I think for sure, BJ has a chip on his shoulder as well, because you guys remember everything that's going on with Terrence Clark, RIP. I think that just gives him a certain motivation to really make it out and play his best and be the best player that he can be. And I think overall this time, when people have been criticizing him, saying that he's not ready for the NBA, this and that, he's starting to prove them wrong. Now, personally, in my opinion, I think the biggest issue with going from college to the NBA when you don't play your best and don't have the best college experience is number one, it's going to be harder for you to climb that ladder. If you get drafted one of the top players in the pick, odds are you're going to be on the regular NBA team and you already have that set contract as to where you're in the NBA and you're ready to play that entire time. Whereas if you try to go to the NBA right away, even if you don't have the best college season, what it does is it makes it harder for you. In this case, of course, he did get drafted pretty late and he's playing in the NBA G League, which is going to make it a little bit more challenging for him to actually make a full NBA team. Now, of course, if you play and have the game, you play well enough, you can get moved up for sure but i just definitely think he maybe could have been someone that stayed a little bit longer but man hopefully he proves me wrong and he's able to actually continue to play this well and it really seems like it's a matter of time before he'll get comfortable because that's what it was all about it was never that he didn't have the talent to go out there and play the game but it was just about getting his rhythm going out there putting his best foot forward shooting the jump shot with confidence laying the ball up being aggressive and it really shows and seems like his game has improved a lot and it reminds me of a ton of other hoopers you guys know like people like Ronnie James you have to have that confidence and that aggression to be able to go out there and go after it and especially when you get in the NBA G League because how many people want your spot of course there are a ton of hoopers a ton of talent in the NBA G League man the Mac McClung Sharif Coopers Kyrie Walkers Jellos man you have a ton of these guys of course we cover the people with clout on this channel but again they have a lot of talent have all been playing exceptionally well in the NBA G League and you have to fight for your spot and in this case I think BJ is really starting to wake up and show everyone what he's made of you guys let me know number one of course what do you think about that Jalen Green and Cade Cunningham game right there man Jalen was not playing games he was coming for blood he went after Cade Cunningham and that's what we like to see that chip on his shoulder as well as Noah Farrakhan as well what do you think how do you think he has been playing his official debut scoring 18 points I was pretty solid let me know what you think in the comments down below and lastly bj boston let me know what you think about his game as well seems like he is finally waking up man and this is going to be a super exciting nba g league if you guys let me know in the comments down below make sure to like the video let me know what you think if you do like these type of g league updates man hit up the like button for sure appreciate each and every one of you selling each and